Hey, what is going on everybody? It is Fresh and welcome back to another video. Now today's video is going to be another addition to Versus FIFA and now we're going to be comparing two Bundesliga Giants, Marco Royce and Franck Ribéry. So let's look at Marco Royce's card. It looks very solid. 91 pace, 86 shooting, 84 passing and 86 dribbling. I mean, very nice card overall. 145k on the Xbox and 190k on the PS4. Then we go over to Ribéry's side. He has 89 pace, 78 shooting, 85 passing and 92 dribbling and he calls 230,000 coins on the Xbox and 295k on a PS4. So, I mean, overall, I mean, looking at these two guys, similar, similar positions, but Ribery is rated too higher. So, so I'm here to basically tell you which one is better for their price and their value, and which one is better overall. Now, as part of a subscriber request, I was asked to show them which team I put them in. So, this is the team I use them in. Very nice, solid Bundesliga squad. But let's go straight into Frank Ribery's stats 83 attacking position, 88 vision. This guy is very pacey. Has has great agility I mean physical stats wise this guy is very excellent aside from the strength and at the jumping I believe but onto his skill attributes everything is green seriously this guy has some amazing uh, skill stats one of my favorites in particular being his free kick accuracy we will talk about that when we go into this and then also he has five star uh, skill moves four star weak for his specialties he's a dribbler acrobat specialty and then he also has the injury prone trait and he has the uh, flare trait so let's go on to Frank Ribery this guy was an absolutely insane players seriously I cannot stress that enough his best trait about him for me was his dribbling and his free kicks so let's talk about his free kicks real quick absolutely insane I scored some amazing free kicks with him. that free kick right there also scored a 36 yard free kick with him and one of the free kicks I have with him actually went in between the wall I've never scored a free kick like that in any FIFA simply spectacular his free kicks were absolutely insane and also his dribbling his dribbling oh my gosh you can weave in and out of players just like this it does not matter and because he has those five star skill moves you can pull out squeals just so smooth and easily and he has high agility as well so really when you pull off skill moves and dribble with them it's like you're playing with Messi. Seriously, this guy can take on the entire team. And honestly, that is what I did with him. His dribbling was definitely his best factor about him. Seriously, his dribbling was very excellent. Also, has some very good pace on him as well. Really rapping on the ball. And once he is at the full sprint, good luck stopping him. Because even at full sprint, his dribbling still feels very excellent. Now, let's move on to his other shooting stats now. Finish-wise, this guy is very excellent. This guy pretty much finished everything that he needed to finish. Inside the box, this guy almost a guaranteed finish. Like, nine times out of ten, this guy finished. There's a couple of times where he hit the post. But, I mean, his dribbling just, it just it just felt so good that I had to include some of those misses in there, seriously. But, I mean, his, his finishing-wise, he's very great. I even scored a pretty nasty long shot in the first minute of the game. So, overall, his shooting stats in general were just simply spectacular. Spectacular. Pace wise, I already talked about that earlier. He feels very rapid on it, especially because he has the high dribbling and agility. This guy weaves in and out of defenders like there is no tomorrow. Now, another good stat about him is that he has some very great passing. Now, in the other FIFAs, Ruby's passing has been underrated. I actually felt like it was pretty weird because of the fact that he was rated 90 with like 81 passing, but finally they gave him the passing stats that he does deserve. 85 passing at least, and it feels so good. 88 short passing on there feels really great. I believe it is 79 long passing which felt pretty good and he also has high crossing as well so he is really good coming off those corners and guys this was the long shot that I was talking about goes off the post and straight into the net so overall guys I really did enjoy Ribery seriously when I picked it up excuse me when I picked him up he was just an absolutely insane player seriously I do not know any other way to explain it it's just like as soon as I picked him up he was just so easy to use overall Ribery was just a very fantastic player if you guys do have the coins then try him out I personally have never tried him on any other FIFA except this FIFA and my god I just wonder what was I missing in those other FIFAs because seriously he could score bangers like that and for a guy with like lower shot power I honestly did not expect that so guys let's go ahead and move on to Marco Royce now Marco Royce stats look absolutely insane 87 attack positioning 85 vision 89 acceleration 82 agility I'm not sure about that but you guys see the stats there nevertheless on to his skill stats now Simply amazing 90 curve 87 uh, excuse me 85 finishing 87 free kick accuracy 89 long shots 85 short passing his shooting stats are definitely the gem of his card also has four star skill moves and wait for a high medium work rate and then his specialties man you can see all those specialties right there and he also has the long shot ticker trait so now what is the big difference between Marco Royce and Ribery well first off it is the shot 
Oh my god, Marco Schwartz's shot feels absolutely incredible. Oh man, I've used this guy in pretty much all the FIFAs, and he has been absolutely insane. And I have to be honest, this FIFA, he feels like he is at his very best. Seriously, inside the box, he is absolutely insane. His finishing honestly feels like it is in the 90s. Once you are in the box with this guy, you cannot miss. It's simply impossible. His finishing feels so high. Not only that, but those 89 long shots. Oh man, I scored a nasty long shot with him. Absolutely loved it. Goalie had no chance of saving it. Well, actually, he did have a chance of saving it, but he didn't go over to the right good enough. But nevertheless, I mean, his finishing wise is very excellent. Look at that volley right there. His shooting overall was just very fantastic. Now, I did go an opportunity to try to fake kick, but for some reason it didn't go over the wall however i did manage to get the rebound and score off that anyway so i know his free kicks are good it was just i think i just had a bit of bad luck but had i had more opportunities i know that i definitely would score with him now dribbling wise he is not as good as ribery however he is not horrible at the same time he does have four star skill moves, so it's definitely easy to weave in and out of defenders also has some solid agility as well so you can expect this guy to dribble past your uh dribble past your opponent's defenders but it's just not going to be as clean as Ribery's but once again as I said it is definitely not horrible but Ribery's dribbling it was just felt like it was on another level now pace wise Marco Royce is very fast absolutely love this guy he is really fast and not only that but he has a solid bit of strength on him as well I mean once he was running he didn't really get bullied off the ball easily and by the way guys this is the goal I was talking about hits the wall but he megs Neuer I thought that was a fantastic goal just because of the fact that I nutmegged Neuer I don't know what Neuer was doing honestly but Pace wise, he felt really good, also because he has some very solid strength. And then passing wise, he felt really excellent as well. Now, I wish I would have got more passing clips with him, but I just love scoring with Marco Roy. Seriously, he just scores for fun. He scored a hat trick. No, excuse me, he scored four goals against Neuer. I mean, he is just simply an amazing player. Shooting wise, he is very very excellent and my god i feel like he is absolutely worth it he is going for so cheap he should definitely go and be going for more with his stats i don't understand why he is so cheap and honestly near the end of fifa this guy's gonna be even cheaper so i recommend that you guys try this and by the way guys just look at this fantastic ship absolutely glorious but now let's go ahead and go to the final verdict now marco royce for me gets a five out of five for both rating and value just because for his price you get a very excellent player. Seriously, one of the best shots in the game. Can shoot from pretty much anywhere. Has great attributes. And overall, is pretty much the ideal and perfect winger. Overall, he I really enjoyed him throughout all the FIFAs. And now for Ribery, for my first time using him, I was very impressed. He also gets a 5 out of 5 for both rating and value. His dribbling was just absolutely insane. Best dribbler I have used in this game. He puts Javis Silva's dribbling to shame. Oh my gosh, his dribbling was simply fantastic. His pace, his shooting is definitely underrated and overall i really did enjoy him and even for 230,000 coins on the xbox he is still a fantastic player but however with that being said after a very long decision making i chose marco royce as the winner just because he was fantastic and i mean seriously guys this was a hard decision i could not think of this in just 10 minutes i literally thought hours about this and i've come to the conclusion that marco royce for me was just a better player shot was absolutely insane however if you are looking for a very excellent dribble then i would see, like suggest you should go for ribbery but if you're looking for a player that pretty much has all properties of a complete four combined then go with marco royce but nevertheless, guys, that is this episode of Versus FIFA. Let me know any experiences that you have with these two players down in the comments below. I'm curious to see what you guys' opinion of these two players are. And also, guys, leave me down uh, below any suggestions that you might have for the next episode of Versus FIFA. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. I am out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace.